Welcome to the world united. Welcome to the world united. So we're gathered together now on this world united platform so that we can come together and create a new world, a world of oneness, a world in which spirituality is foremost, in which we express our true nature of being, in which as a world we create world peace, we create greater prosperity for all, greater love, greater harmony, greater brotherhood. So this is a time for people to come together with one mind, united, and that is why we are gathering now to start this process, which will culminate next year in the World Parliament. So my message for today is that as we move into this new era, and a lot of people are talking about 2012, what's going to happen in 2012, and my message is that what's been happening for the last 50 years is what will continue in 2012. In the last 50 years, there has been a tremendous lifting of consciousness. The entire world is changing, and it's changing for the better. It's changing into a greater spiritual awareness. 50 years ago, it was a different world, completely different world. People were not focused on meditation, yoga, spirituality, at least not in the West. But we're so grateful that many spiritual teachers have come to us from the great land of India. They have brought their wisdom and they've taught so many millions of people meditation, yoga, all the great wisdom of the East has come to us and so now this planet has changed. There's a lot of things in this planet that are not the same as they were 50 years ago. And this is a, has been a 50-year process of transformation. Now we find yoga studios on every corner. We find meditation readily available. On the internet we find people are learning more and more about spirituality. And the wisdom of the East, the wisdom of India, is exploding. It's coming forth in the West. And so as we come together now in this place, in this holy land of India, now we are grateful for the great pearls of knowledge that have come to us from this holy land. And it's important for us to realize that this ancient wisdom of India is relevant for today. It's something that we can use in our everyday life. It's something that we can make use of in our practical life. Because meditation is something that we can grasp onto, something that we can hold onto as a way for us to center ourselves in our everyday life, in our everyday activities. It's something that we can hold onto as a rock, something give us great centeredness, great stability, great equanimity. And meditation is the key to all of that. But my message in particular is that the most important skill that you can learn going into this new era of 2012 and beyond, there's one most important skill for everyone to learn, and that is to learn how to listen to the still small voice of God within you. That is to learn how to communicate directly with God. How to have direct contact and communication with the God of your understanding. And to begin to follow that guidance. To trust what you receive when you ask questions of that divine voice. When you ask questions of your higher self. And to receive that. To trust that. And to follow that. Because as you follow the divine guidance, as you trust that you are being guided by spirit, you not only create a new life for yourself, you not only create greater understanding, greater love, 
greater joy, greater prosperity, greater fulfillment in your own life. But you're creating it in the life of everyone else, too. Everyone around you is being touched by your higher spiritual vibration. And this spreads. It doesn't just end with your, the edge of your energy field. It spreads out to your family, to your community, to the place you're living. In fact, it spreads to the world. It spreads even to the universe. So when you are in touch with that inner divinity, with your true nature of being, when you realize your true self, when you attain self-realization, you're affecting not only yourself, you're affecting the entire world. So if we want to create a world united, if we want to create harmony, love, and peace for all humankind, we must start with ourselves. The only way that we can create world peace, the only way that we can create a harmony, the only way that we can create a world united is for each of us to unite with our own higher being. It's for us to unite with inner divinity, with God within us. So my message with, for you as we go into this new era is open to spirit. Open to that divine presence which is your own true nature of being. Open to who you really are. And develop your ability to be in touch with and in tune with God within you. Begin to see the world through the eyes of God. Begin to hear the divine voice. Begin to do the works of God. To walk in the footsteps of God. To breathe the breath of God. To say the words of God. To speak the words that you receive from God. And to live your true divine nature, your true nature of being, your own inner ecstasy, which radiates through you to touch all of humankind, to live the life worth living, the life divine.